Que se opa. Sí, ¿qué onda? Ay. Ja, ik laak he. Jo, het, uh, het gebeurt. Het is lief voor jou. Jesus, just thank you for this day. The day of faithfulness, the day of purity, the day of celebrating you. God, give us a revelation of what your heart is for each other. I want to thank you for my almost bride. <laughs> God, we celebrate you today. This is only the beginning, God. Jesus, we love you so much. Oh, I thank you so much for this day. God, thank you that this day is all about you. Where I pray so much joy. <laughs> Jesus, we thank you so much. God, we are so grateful. God, without you, we wouldn't have been here. Well, a big congratulations to the both of you. Uh, we all love you. I love you guys, and we look forward to seeing. Uh, to hearing the testimonies that will come from your guys' uh, marriage. Jan, you were the first person to make me know, or help me know, that I can't trust people. One thing that just stands out to me about both of them is your vulnerability. I and mean, you are so real, like you do not fake anything. What a privilege me and Mom to be, to be part of your wedding day, um, which you were looking forward so long planning so hard. You guys will be such a good example of Jesus and his bride because you are so loyal and you are so intentional, both of you. The first time we actually really interacted was with a sushi night. And then it all actually started with a sushi night. I didn't know anyone there. I just knew Abigail and, and Bianca. We just really had so much fun sharing like our life stories and laughing and... I brought, I pulled my guitar out because I was bored. I like he had his guitar there, played my favorite song because he didn't know my favorite song and he just started playing my favorite song. And then once I started, oh, game over. And, uh, like, like he normally game does. Game over. <laughs> I, heard, I, I heard her over talking that she likes this one song. I'm like, I made that song. Yeah. Um, I may or may not have played the song. In that moment, and I didn't know how the heck would I like actually send him a message and interact with him, and so I direct messaged him from the the, the RTC group, and I was like, hey, like I I just want to know, like I already actually exercised this morning, like would it be illegal, like if I exercise like two times in a day, and he's like, girl, I would do everything just to exercise two days today, two times in a day. I mean, she, I mean, she asked me out first. There it is again. Bianca was in the loop. And I was like, okay, I tell you what. I will come to the class if, but only if, I can have a coffee with you and actually get to oh, Girl, you oh. This rib, that, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that this is a blessing in such an amazing time. So it's a blessing. Right now. For my lily bee, as I was praying and definitely overthinking writing my vows, <laughs> I realized what an honor it is doing this. We are standing here before God our friends and family stating that our covenant and our promises are a true reflection 
of our yes to God and His yes to ours. I've wrestled with my vows for a while and truly wanted to understand the true weight that this moment carries. I want you to hear what I choose today and not just promise. I want to start by saying this, you are truly my best friend. You've made me laugh in ways I didn't think possible. You brought out the child out inside of me and made me want to be weird but be myself. Jan Hendrik, my love and my best friend. Today we stand here before all our friends and family to make a public declaration of God's faithfulness and our love for one another. When I first met you, I thought that it was going to be a casual take Abigail to meet up with a friend kind of thing. But little did I know that this little heart of mine would fall so deeply in love with a man so loyal, caring and kind. I choose to love you and you alone. I choose to love you when it's hard and easy. I choose to accept your morning breath, your perfect smile, your blue eyes, your weird facial expressions, and most importantly, your yes to Jesus. I love our spontaneous dates where we just go to a random restaurant and play board games all night. I still remember the day where we were saying goodbye outside of base at the, um, and at that time, I was working through some past pains and hurt and just the way you took authority and stood in the gap for all the people that has ever hurt me made me realize the mature and strong man that God has blessed me with. On that day, I knew you were the one who would take care of my heart and that you would love me like Jesus always loved me. I choose to be your number one supporter in all you do, to champion your voice as a female leader in our generation and next to come. I choose a redemption story of pursuit and family with you. I choose a pure and holy covenant with, with you and a full-on pursuit of obedience to our Father in heaven. I choose to live a life of transparency and faithfulness to you. I choose to have fun with you and laugh harder than ever before. I choose to lose in every board game I play against you, and that's not by choice. <laughs> As we step into this new chapter together, I'm so excited to wake up with you every morning. God is coming back for a pure bride. Jan Hendrik and Bianca have not kissed until this day. Bian, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Bianca, like against all odds, you conquered. Against all odds. You're sitting here pure, blameless before God, before your husband. And you truly mean the world to me and even more to God. And I can only pray that I can love you well as Jesus does, that I can pursue you as He does. We got 